The year 2020 has been a hard one for everyone for obvious reasons, but even though it was such a tough one, we did get a lot of great music and we did see a lot of new artists emerge victorious on the charts. And Doja Cat is one of those artists. Lover or hater, you can't deny Doja Cat's appeal. She can rap, sing, dance, and she's super relatable in her odd eccentric way. For the last 9 months or so, Doja Cat's career has been on a THC high. The 25 year old took home new artist of the year and favorite soul slash R&B artist at last year's American Music Awards. Her single Say So released from her second studio album Hot Pink has made her a household name thanks to the social media video app TikTok. The single also peaked at number one on Billboard's Hot 100 after it got a remix from Nicki Minaj, making Say So both artists first number one single on Billboard's Hot 100. Doja Cat is one of the most popular artists out today, but it wasn't an easy journey for the artist, as her first studio efforts, Amala, released on March 30th, 2018, was a commercial failure. On the 13-track project released under RCA, it's influenced by R&B, hip-hop, dancehall, and psychedelic sounds. On the track Fancy and Go To Town, the Nicki Minaj influence came through, but at no point it seems like a total ripoff of Nicki Minaj's flow. The album also had one feature from dancehall entertainer Conscience. Peaking at 138 on the US Billboard 200, it's a definite low point for the album. But for me personally, it's not a bad album at all. Doja Cat herself was not satisfied and she actually hates the record stating it's not a true representation of her and it sounds unfinished. She also cited partying and partaking in marijuana while in the production did not help the album at all. Despite being a total failure, Amala did get a deluxe release that changed the trajectory of the artist. Juicy featuring Tyga and Tia Maria featuring Rico Nasty were definite hits and kept the artist on regular rotation on the radio where she got introduced to a wider audience to her already growing fan base. But the song that exploded in virality was the most unlikely track from the deluxe, Moo. Released on August 10th, 2018 exclusively on YouTube, Moo is a very casual and minimalistic track where don't just sing about being a cow. It was actually considered a throwaway track by Doja Cat, but it went viral on all internet platforms skyrocketing Doja's fame. Moo is a complete parody on a lo-fi hip-hop beat. The music video is also weird as Doja Cat twerks and sticks fries in her nose hole and has burgers and fries and anime aesthetic in the background on the green screen. Instead of fading in viral despair, RCA seized the moment and released Juicy featuring Taiga as the next single, which helped her momentum. Moo is a song that made Doja Cat the growing sensation that she is today. Parody or not, this proves that the internet is a great tool for artists to get their name out there, if used correctly. With fame comes a whole lot of hate, and Doja has had and is still having her fair share, but I'm sure she'll be around for a very, very long time.